for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there within content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and heartful lusts, which drawn men into destruction and perdition. I don't know if you feel the same, but living a simple life has a certain appeal. The idea of having peace in our home, time to invest in our family and others, spend more time with our Creator, having space to enjoy the things we actually love sounds different to me. When we look around us, we see how very little people actually desire this type of life. So, as a family of four, we have always wanted to take a trip to Europe, Portugal more specifically. It was one of the things on our bucket list. With many prayers and faith, here we are now. It's been three whole months, and I must say, if you are thinking of making this trip or it's on your bucket list, make it happen because I'm going to share with you our experiences we had and how beautiful this place is. Yeah, no, drive, the push on the gas. Yeah, push on. Okay, push down on the clutch, down to second. No, gas. Second? No, just keep it on second. Let's see what you have here. Oh, this is what I like. Okay, go turning. Turning. Okay, so wait, wait. Keep turn. gas, keep gas going, keep the gas going. No, you keep your seatbelt on. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Go turning around, then you're going to go back into that, okay. that spot. So away from the away from the hole away from the hole you <laughs> <laughs> okay get yourself ready to go back to there wide turn wide turn wide turn wide turn okay get ready to put it into clutch hold on no put it on gas push just put gas okay clutch down clutch down third got it Slow it down, slow it, pay attention. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now. Okay, go down to second gear. You're on no, fourth you gear. You're gonna stand. you're gonna stall. You're gonna stall. Second gear. Okay, let's imagine in the morning you don't see the city traffic. When driving behind a tractor, you slow down and you have time to look at the peaceful countryside. You observe the different season, the colors of the landscape and you actually taste the different products of the countryside. We can fully partake of the marvelous landscape and never get tired of it. Each morning we are amazed by its beauty. From early in the morning until late at night, the Portuguese can be found sipping coffee at their local bakery. The country's antique trade thrives and flea markets are stocked with historical ceramic works, famous carpets, and many other treasures worth collecting. Pretty much anything and everything you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Among the mountains, viewpoints, villages, and rich biodiversity and history, the waterfalls of Jidish was one of our favorites. As you can see, it's breathtaking. I can't even imagine how it must be in the summer. Let's bring up the subject of kindness. Okay, now you're probably wondering where I'm going with this, but I actually googled who are the friendliest countries in Europe. 2022 Reader's Choice Award Portugal was number two on their list. Acts of kindness can make the world a happier place for everyone. It's impossible for many of us to live in such a way that we shall not cast an influence in the world. No member of the family can enclose himself within himself, or other members of the family shall not feel his influence and spirit. The very expression of the countenance has an influence for good or evil. His spirit, his words, his actions, his attitude toward others are unmistakable. If he is living in selfishness, he surrounds his soul with a malarious atmosphere 
while if he is filled with the love of Christ, he will manifest courtesy, kindness, tender regard for feelings of others, and will communicate to his associates, by his acts of love, a tender, grateful, happy feeling. It will be made manifest that he is living for Jesus, a daily learning lessons at his feet, receiving his light and his peace. He will be able to say, The Lord, thy gentleness, hath made me great. So, let's all try to express more kindness and positive characteristics to others, because they make a difference and have an impact.